Microsoft Teams is one of the newer additions to Office 365. It is a hub for teamwork where all of your team's conversations, files, and meetings are in one place. And it will change the way you work and collaborate, not just with your coworkers, but with your clients as well. Looking at the far left hand side, you will see six icons. We will be going a little bit out of order, but we will cover each icon and what it means to you and your team. Let's get started with the product's namesake and look at the Teams section. A team is a group of people with a specific purpose, and as you can see, I'm a member of nine different teams. Within each team, you have different channels, which are the topics. And then within each channel, that's where you have your conversations. And you'll see that the conversations are threaded, so I can reply to a conversation or start a brand new conversation down at the bottom here. Also included in your team is the tabs area where you can have shortcuts to shared files or documents that you're currently working on with other teammates, but it also gives you the ability to add additional office apps and even some third-party apps too. When something new happens in a team, the channel becomes bold, letting me know that there is something new to review in that team. However, if you want to get a person's attention right away, you can use the at mention feature so they get a notification that pops up in the bottom right hand corner. And to use the at mention feature, just use the at symbol followed by the person's name. Or if you want to notify everyone in the group, use the at symbol followed by the group name. Of course, it is possible that you are mentioned several times, either by name or by group. So if this happens, check out the activity bell and you can see all the conversations you may have missed out on while you've been away. You also don't have to be a part of a team in order to have a conversation with someone. Just like in Skype, you can reach out and have either a private conversation or a group chat that doesn't have to be in a team format. And I can add someone just by clicking the add icon in the top right. And in the beginning of this video, I said that Teams was a collaboration hub and what better form to collaborate in than in a meeting. That's right, Teams also has meetings integrated right into it. You can invite your entire team to a meeting or you can do it by individual basis. You can also include external users if you want to. And notice that it also syncs with your Outlook calendar and vice versa. And speaking of meetings, what meeting would be complete without the ability to call? So you have a call feature that's built right in. Use it just like you would a normal telephone or you could video chat with your fellow meeting goers or you could share your screen. There's a lot of things that you could do that's already built right into Teams. Finally, that brings us to the files icon. Since Teams is a sharing application, you may receive a lot of files from different teams or channels. So instead of looking through each one individually for the specific document you're looking for, you have a few shortcuts built right in. Also, I can access OneDrive from here or even third-party apps. You could almost say that Microsoft Teams is not really actually a product in its own right. It's just a presentation layer that integrates other Office 365 functionalities. For example, the chat, meetings, and telephony functionality are rooted in Skype for Business, but it doesn't use the Skype for Business client. Also, files shared in Teams get stored in SharePoint or OneDrive, but you'll never have to log into the standalone apps. And Office 365 Groups is the service used to manage the membership of Teams. That is to say, you won't have to log into a separate application in order to manage your members. But if Teams is a replacement for email, then how does Exchange Online integrate into Teams? Well, when you create a team, you are also creating an email address for your team members to share, just like a distribution list. But the chat feature will reduce the volume of email you receive. So there you have it, a hub for teamwork where all of your conversations, files, meetings are in one place. It's the only Office app you'll ever need again.